I'm here at the NRA National Sporting Arms Museum at Bass Pro Shops in Springfield, Missouri with Jim Sapika, director of the NRA Museums. Jim, I was able to get out here and I'm so happy I'm here at this wonderful museum to do a special series of Curator's Corners here. And Jim, I thought after the first one we did, you couldn't step it up, but my word, you've stepped it up here. So not only we have this beautiful firearm and an impressive cartridge there, and what's this? This came off of an elephant. It's a uh, uh, tusk, obviously, taken legally. Uh, as you know, uh, big game hunters in Africa basically fund the conservation movement in, uh, in, in Africa of the endangered species there. And the fees that they pay are what go to uh, the anti-poaching and the conservation and the restoration efforts in Africa. So this was a, a legitimately harvested tusk. Uh, and uh, it's now big here at the museum. It's here at the museum. Awesome. And this gun, it's, it, it, it would be an elephant gun. It's for the heaviest African game, right. uh, uh, the big five. And it also has an elephant theme. It's beautifully engraved by Philippe Griffney, one of the greatest engravers who ever lived. And all over the gun it's, is decorated with elephants. If you take a look, there are elephants everywhere, different species of elephants, and just beautiful, very, very deep, hand-carved, hand-cut engraving. And Griffney uh, was especially good at that deep relief, the very, very deeply cut, raised, three-dimensional engraving. So you've got the, uh, the elephants all over this gun. And it is a Holland and Holland. Yeah, it's, you told uh, me, Jim, before we were on air, we had a Holland and Holland, and immediately there's a cachet. Tell folks why I was so impressed when I heard we were gonna have a Holland and Holland. Well, there are very few British makers that arguably make the finest firearms ever made. A lot of them started in the 19th century and continued into the 20th century. And Holland and Holland, along with fir firms like Purdy and Boss, are right at the very, very top of the finest guns ever made in terms of fit, finish, and decoration. And of course, the, the great double guns, the double shotguns and the double rifles like this for African game uh, are the, uh, the, the finest guns. So made. this is a double rifle? It is a double rifle, and it is chambered for this round. And that is quite a round. This is a Tell us about that round. This is a 700 Nitro Express. Wow. which means that that bullet is 0.7 inches in diameter, just like a 45 is 0.45 inches in diameter. And it, uh, uh, I've got my handy dandy ballistic cheat sheet with me. <laughs> you measure the power of cartridges in muzzle energy, the foot pounds at the muzzle. So when you're shooting a 22, you've got 150 foot pounds, right? right? 44 mags pretty powerful. You got a thousand foot pounds with a 44 okay, magnum. That's a big jump up. <laughs> U.S. military rifle, the 223, right. 5.56, about 1325 okay. foot pounds. 30 out six, a standard big game rifle in North America, 2800 foot pounds. Wow. A lot of energy at the muzzle. 700 Nitro Express, 8,900 foot pounds. Wow. About uh, uh, three to four times the power of a 30 out six wow. pushing that huge 700 grain bullet. Oh my, oh my. So that has a lot to do with the stopping power for big game, but also just it's got to tell you, just not only is it a beautiful gun to work with, but it's got to be a well-made gun to be handling oh, yeah. that kind yeah. of muzzle velocity. Absolutely. A extremely well-made gun and uh, a, a very, very powerful gun. One of the more powerful uh, cartridges that can be fired from a shoulder arm. So what, what, when was this gun about? What, what era is it from? This is probably late 18, I'm sorry, late 1980s production. So it's reason, reasonably recently made. This gun is part of the Robert E. Peterson collection. Oh. Most of that is on display at our museum in Fairfax, Virginia, the National we Firearms Museum. Here, we brought a couple, and this is certainly one of the, the premier pieces in that collection that's the finest uh, uh, private collection that I've ever seen. And of course, the Petersons donated it to the museum. Beautiful. Largest gift in the history of the NRA, uh, an entire gallery there in uh, Fairfax, Virginia. And these and, beautiful and guns. And these beautiful guns And here. Gatling guns, too, back Gatling in the museum. Gatling guns, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine Gatling guns in so, the collection. So we need to see that here. And how do we see it here and at the other museum? Here is at the NRA National Sporting Arms Museum. We're at Bass Pro Shops in Springfield, Missouri. They can see it at nramuseums.com. Jim, thank you so much for another great segment of the Curator's Corner.